good day and welcome to this tutorial class all right my name my name remains Olua Tumbi blessing or lalekon the founder of michael tech all right so we'll be producing the figure on the screen which resembles a batman right which resembles a batman so for this particular figure we'll be drawing it on a reduced scale on a scale of one ratio two that is every dimension here will be what will be divided by two all right so what's the first thing right here the first thing i'm going to do right here is to produce this thin horizontal line at the top okay after that thin horizontal line i'm going to produce uh, a vertical line to that right here this vertical line to it okay after that after that okay so coming downwards i have mark of 75 mark of 75 that is what mark of uh 150 but divided by two that will be what 75 so i pick mark of 75 from here first of all 75 right there okay after the mark of 75 i'm going to what project that also horizontally which is this right here okay ensure you don't make any mistake right there so that's it so next thing is i'm going to bisect this 75 okay i'm going to use principle of bisection right here right here okay and right here right here so i'm going to bisect it just now okay I'm going to bisect it now so take note yeah you can actually divide that with your ruler all right you can divide that with your ruler and you can also apply the principle of what bisection as i'm doing it here likewise all right so let's start from this bottom part okay so towards the bottom part we have a mark of 140 towards the left 140 towards the right but for now divided by two that will be what mark of 170 70 each 140 divided is what 70 so with mark of 70 standing right here I mark towards the right and towards what left. So I'm going to project those points vertically. Okay. I'm projecting them vertically. So this one like this and this other one like this. Okay. So what is the next procedure here right now? What's the next procedure here? So right here we're having an arc of uh, radius 100 right here. So instead of it being radius 100 that is going to be 100 divided by 2 that will be what radius what radius 50 so picking my compass i measure radius what radius 50 so with my radius 50 standing right at this junction okay i strike an arc do you see right there i strike another arc right here okay take note then standing at this junction here i mark what this arc and this arc then standing at this inter junction here i what i strike my second arc right there then standing at this junction also i what i strike this particular arc here. then from this first intersection right here i what i draw i'm going to make it bold once and for make it bold okay then standing at this other intersection here i what i draw making it what bold making it bold okay so having done that so i'm going to extend my line to this junction like that tangential to this right there then this area also tangential to this right there so what i actually applied here is the principle of tangency first principle of tangency which is the principle of an arc on a straight line okay so uh, for you to actually understand that kindly subscribe to uh, my complete tutorial course on curved tangency it's a two hours plus tutorial course on cost tangency on curved tangency i assure you that if you subscribe to it you will be able to solve problems such as this and even more complex than this or any problem on curve tangency because that video is well explanatory and well simplified yeah it actually captures all you need to know about the principle of curved tangency so you can find this video on my website www.michaellabs.com.ng as displayed on your screen right there okay right now so to proceed to proceed yeah initially towards uh that area at the top right there yeah so we are having a mark of 220 towards the left 220 towards the right okay 220 divided by 2 is what 110 that will be 110 towards the left and 110 towards the right so with my mark of 110 this is it so towards this right hand side i have it here and 110 towards the left hand side i what i have it here so each of those points will be projected what vertically upwards 
my project them vertically upwards right here and this area also right here okay so what do i do now so we have a line joining them here but i'm also going to apply the principle of tangency right there so all right the next step is this we need to get this area we need to get this area so how do we do that so the very first step is this i'm going to project a line at 35 degrees so with my protractor okay yeah ensure you place it perfectly fine and okay so angle of 35 degrees to the what's to the horizontal axis so i'm having it right here 35 degrees that's it on that area right there so uh, let me draw that i'm going to draw that faintly okay i'm drawing that faintly all right then on this area also 35 degree to the what to the horizontal plane likewise so this 35 degrees yes also and i'm going to rule that also faintly i'm going to draw that faintly also faintly also so after that we have an arc so the next step is this i'm going to pick my compass 45 radius 45 yeah that's the radius of the arc we have in here radius 45 radius 45 so radius 45 divided by 2 that is what radius 22.5 picking our compass measuring radius what 22.5 which is this so standing right here we strike an arc like this yeah faintly and it's big then i'm going to stand here also i strike an arc faintly and ensure what it is big so after doing that after doing that what was the next procedure the next procedure is to produce a line parallel to this and parallel to this at a distance of 22.5 millimeters at a distance of 22.5 millimeters. So how do i do that i place my compass right here okay i draw this arc like this okay then i place my compass right here also um, let me pick this junction here okay just on that same line i draw this arc like this also so then the next thing is i'm going to pick my ruler and what and join the top of those lines like this okay showing they are parallel to each other so i have this like that do you see that so i have that over there okay and drawing it it touches my arc of radius 25 that i draw here it touches it here. it touches it right here it touches it somewhere here so sitting at this junction right now i what i draw sitting at this junction right now i what i draw uh, you need to be careful you can use it so that is the curve right there then this area is was tangential to this right here like this okay so that area is what is settled so coming to this other side also so with radius 25 i draw this okay sitting at this area still on my line radius 25 i draw this also so then picking my ruler drawing a line parallel to those areas so this to this parallel to each other at a distance of 25 mm so i what i draw so my parallel line touches my arc of radius 25 here. it touches it right here so with the same radius 25 sitting at this junction i what comfortably i draw this arc I draw this arc comfortably. So having that arc right there, I'm also going to draw this one tangentially to this, like this comfortably. So that is that also. That area is also what also set with now. We are to get this in a uh, part. Okay, so I'm having a mark of 134 right there. 134 divided by 2. And that is 67. That is 67. Okay, so picking my ruler 67 divided by 2 that is 33.5 so with 33.5 on my compass picking my compass measuring 33.5 which is this with 33.5 from this midpoint i what i strike an arc right here and what and right here okay so after doing that i'm going to project those points vertically vertically in this order faint line okay faint line one and what uh two 
All right, so what's the next procedure there? So we're having a mark of uh, 24 in between there. So 24 divided by 2 is what is 12. So from this midpoint, I mark 6 towards the right, 6 towards the left. So I'm going to project that one also vertically. So like this and like this. Okay, so what's next? So coming down, I'm having uh, a mark of 50 vertically downward. Okay, mark of 50 vertically downward. So, but before that, I'm having a mark of 10 from here to here. So that 10 divided by 2 is what? 5. So from here, I measure what? 5, which is this. That mark of 5, then the mark of 25 downward, I'm also going to mark that also. 25, which is this. So I'm projecting these two points horizontally. So mark of 5 horizontally, I'm having this. Mark of 25 horizontally, I'm having what? Uh, I'm having this okay so uh going further going further all right so at this mark of uh 25 which is this right here so with radius 30 30 divided by 2 that's radius what radius 15 so picking my ruler I measure radius 15 which is this with radius 15 sitting comfortably right here I would I draw this arc I'm going to make it faint first of all I'm drawing it faintly as it is over there. All right, drawing it faintly as it is over there. So, standing. So the next procedure is to get uh, this area here to get this area. So I'm okay to get the top area right here. So I'm going to produce an horizontal line at uh, this junction here first of all, like this. Okay, after producing that thing, horizontal line right there, picking my protractor, standing right here, yeah, towards that junction right there like this i pick uh 10 degrees to the vertical plane which is this 10 degrees to the vertical plane then i what i draw this inwards like this faintly faintly first inwards like that so likewise on this area 10 degrees towards the vertical plane also like this 10 degrees which is this so then from here i draw it inwards towards the mark of 24 also so i'm having those two right there okay so having those two right there i can as well pick my compass with my radius 15 sitting here and what sitting here and taking this area out yeah i'm going to take in this area out okay i'm going to take in this one right here like this taking this right here like this Okay, so what is the next procedure from here? Okay, from this junction downward, I'm going to produce vertical lines. Yeah, right on this junction towards the bottom like this. And right from this junction towards the bottom like this. Okay, so on each of those planes, I'm projecting 10 degrees also towards the vertical axis. 10 degrees towards the vertical axis here. I'm having this. So with that, I can project this like this somewhere there okay so likewise right here 10 degrees towards the vertical axis which is this right here okay 10 degrees somewhere here. then I'm going to what I'm going to project that one also like this so as it were now as it were uh, Marvin I'm having this line already here, this line already here. Okay, so uh, first thing first, first thing first. Okay, so coming towards the bottom here, we have another mark of 37. 37 divided by 2, that is 18.5, 18.5. So picking my compass, I measure length of 18.5, length of 18.5, which is this. So with length of 18.5, I would, I strike an arc right here. So having that junction, I'm going to project it towards horizontally, horizontally like this. Okay, having it that way horizontally, so I'm going to pick my compass, radius 40 here, yeah, 40 divided by 2 is what? That is uh, 20, so with radius 20, which is this, okay, with radius 20 right here, okay, standing here, I what? I produce my first arc, okay, with my radius 20 right here. 
then standing here can you see please be careful look standing right there maybe i should zoom it out so that you can see better so standing right here i produce my uh yeah standing right here i produce my radius 20 second arc which is this do you see that do you see where they intersect yeah so from this point of intersection right now okay i would i join from here like this tangential to this junction like this do you see that so then i'm going to what join this right here from here to here and from this junction down here and from this junction i would i draw this out as it is right there okay so likewise with my radius 20 right here also i place it right here i strike my first arc of radius 20 right here okay that is it right there then right here i would i strike my second arc then we meet what right here then i would i draw i draw as you can see so this one is also tangential to this one right here like this tangential right there like that and this comes right here like this okay and this comes right here like this tangential to it right there so then after that i think we are done then i'm going to watch, join this straight away down to this junction like this and likewise towards my left hand side this to what this junction like this okay and that is the construction of uh, the batman figure on the screen that's the construction of the batman figure on the screen so thank you so kindly ensure you subscribe to our youtube channel and also refer this video to your friends who might be in need of it thank you so ensure you subscribe to that uh tutorial video on curve tangency it is actually going to help you a long way going forward all right